All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have to talk. Um, over the last 48-ish hours, uh, ever since the Royal Rumble, um, there's been this weird uproar about Bad Bunny. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am going to educate you because what is going on with this situation isn't cool. Um, first and foremost, Bad Bunny is a Puerto Rican artist, reggaeton, trap music, hip-hop, etc. Cool. Also, one of the biggest stars on the planet Earth today. Like, it's actually kind of impressive what he's managed to do in such a short time. He's been around maybe five years. He's got some chops. Now, one thing that I've seen over and over again on the Twitter sphere is I don't know who he is, so he's not famous to me. Okay, this is not a sentiment you should have, ever. Because you're invalidating somebody else by saying, oh, well, not me. Um, and your opinion matters to who? Get over yourself. First thing. Second thing. People want to say that, oh, well, it's just that I have that opinion of him because I've never heard of him. Okay, and do you not have the internet? Does a Google search not take point? 0.84 seconds for over 200 million hits. That's what happens. You're going to tell me that you can't take a second to type Bad Bunny, eight letters in a space, into Google. <sighs> I'm getting off track here. This has been something that, in wrestling fans in general... And wrestlers, in general, have been fighting all day. Like, not only is this a good thing, this is eyeballs on the product. WWE hasn't toured in a year. And they've lost a lot of exposure in a lot of different countries, a lot of them Latin American. And you know what? They've gained a lot of exposure back because of one guy. Alright? On top of that, I, I don't genuinely get why him not being an English artist invalidates everything people want to say well he doesn't sing in english so i don't listen to him you listen to cardi b you listen to shakira you listen to jennifer lopez on the occasion that she decides to you know dane us with her uh spanish singing voice on top of that like what point did oh i don't listen to mainstream or i don't know anything about pop culture become a sign of pride this doesn't make sense if you're me, you're a pop culture nerd. I choose wrestling because wrestling is what I know. That is my safe spot. I love video games. I love movies. I love TV. I'm a reader. I love books. I'm an English major. Go figure. And yet, people say, well, it still doesn't count because I don't know who he is. Quick example. Do I expect you to know who Anthony Perkins is? No. It's not a household name. Why? Because this isn't 1960. This isn't 1965. This isn't 1970. Anthony Perkins is a star of Psycho. He plays Norman Bates. And he does a damn good job of it. This is my favorite movie. I've seen this movie more times than I care to believe or admit. And... At some point, somebody tells me, oh, well, I don't know who Anthony Perkins is. You know what my reaction is? Hey, cool. Here's a Blu-ray copy of Psycho. Have at it. But that's really not the point, either. The point really ends. I'm going to get in trouble with YouTube for this. I don't care. It's casual racism. That's exactly what it is. Bad Bunny is not Kid Rock. God forbid. He is not Kid Rock. And that frustrates so many wrestling fans. And I don't know why. I don't know why. As a Latino man, the conceit of the channel is Lucha Libre. As a Latino, I don't understand where people are coming from when they say that his entire discography is invalidated. 
He has a Billboard Top 200 album this year. He has multiple number one hits. The first artist to sing completely in Spanish on a number one hit. Even Shakira can't say that. And yet, there is this thin, thin veil where people want to plead ignorance. You have the internet. You have no excuse to be ignorant. Saying, oh, well, I don't believe in that, or I don't follow the mainstream, or I don't believe in what he does, or I don't like his style, doesn't mean anything. 99% of pop culture is on your peripheral vision. You don't watch every movie that comes out. You don't watch every episode of every TV show that's ever existed. You don't listen to every album that's dropped in a year. But you understand trends. You understand popularity. And to deny that a man like Bad Bunny is able to bring more people to a product, especially something like pro wrestling, which is niche to begin with, and you are not helping. Pro wrestling is niche to begin with. Bad Bunny has proven time and again he is a fan. He took that Cardi B track. That Cardi B track has a line by Bad Bunny. He shouts out Eddie Guerrero. He wore a Latino Heat shirt in a Drake video. He is, his biggest hit right now is Booker T. Well, not biggest, but his, one of his hits right now is Booker T. He understands, he is you, he is me, he is any wrestling fan that has ever existed. And thinking for a single second that you as a fan are somehow better than he is because he speaks Spanish only because he's from Puerto Rico, because he's a rapper, because he's a hip-hop artist, because he's in the pop culture zeitgeist. is short-sighted. It's stupid. It's honestly racist. And let's be perfectly clear. If you continue saying things like, who is that? Or, I don't care who that is and he's not famous. Or, I'm not sure what we're going to gain from this. You <laughs> are throwing Latinos everywhere under the bus. Every brown and black face you've known is standing behind this guy. Because he is influenced by so many black and brown voices. He's not Kid Rock. I think we can all be just a little bit thankful for that.